Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well and are keeping safe and happy as much as possible. Um, so today I want to do another video that I have done before as well, twice actually, so I will put them here somewhere and um, it's basically um, <laughs> A swatch and a review of all the Tom Ford lipsticks I have now I know I hear you screaming from through the camera and through the screen Tom Ford lipsticks are bloody expensive I know however I have been buying them on and off for a few years so I mean I say years like so they're not like 10 years old or anything um, but I haven't bought them all together I've I've bought them you know maybe one every year or something or two every year i thought it would be nice to go through the colors that i have just so that you can have a look of what they look like on this on the lips and if you are thinking of maybe buying a tom ford lipstick then this will definitely be um, helpful so you can see the actual swatch instead of just the swatches they have online um, now the lipstick i have on the moment is not tom ford um, and there are not a lot i only have uh, nine colors so um, i was hoping to have at least 10 or 15 but you know what it's it's been a, a shit year yesterday <laughs> last year so um yeah i didn't buy any then but i think i had enough to do a video um, obviously a high-end luxury lipstick so unless you've got the whole collection and you're a billionaire i don't think anyone would have more than 10 or 15 in their collection anyway anyway so um yeah let's get on with it i will zoom you in and we will do uh, the lipsticks and like always I will do um, the lipsticks on my lips separately as well so you can see what they look like and I will do swatches on my hands too okay so <clears throat> let's start with the first one and the first one is what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment um, in the swatches that I do on my lips uh, that you will see separately on the screen um, I have I used my lip pencil now if you've seen my videos before you would know that I only use my lips I only wear lipstick with a lip pencil and they are usually brown um, so this is the one called hodgepodge from Mac uh, it is a cool toned brown so I just help that to line my lips um, and yeah this, that's just the way I do it anyway so the first one that I'm uh, mentioning now before we do anything else before we start talking about the colors please appreciate the packaging of this beauty i mean come on come on it's very weighty it comes in a beautiful packaging of black and gold um they are i don't think they're i don't think they're made of plastic because they are very very weighty um it has the tom ford logo on the top there and then obviously your beautiful lipstick inside now they come in two sizes uh, this is the big one and then we've got a smaller one I do have four small ones and five big ones so you can see the difference in the size as well the big ones are I'm if I'm not wrong they are three grams and the smaller ones are two grams um, now for what you pay obviously it's never good like even if they give you five grams it's never going to be enough because it, it's a lot of money for a lipstick However, if you're a person like me who likes lipsticks and wears lipsticks a lot and um, like lipsticks and mascaras, I think are the two, my two favorite makeup products. So I use them more than anything. Anyway, so enough jibber jabber. Um, so the first one is this, um, the one that I have on my lips is called Indian Rose. Now this is a very, very popular color from them um, because it's a combination of pink and beige people really really like them so let me do a swatch here this is what it looks like on the hand now in terms of the finish now the finish of these is like no other i have ever seen they are creamy very 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 comfortable to uh, to apply um but if you can see like let me come in close they are creamy however they don't have like a very huge shine so basically 
how they've made their formulation is it needs to be lightweight, long wearing, yet, cre yet creamy. And even if they do wear off, they wear off like in a very subtle way. So you almost feel like a very balmy, it's more, it feels like a balmy texture on your lips um, with really high pigment. So, um, I mean, honestly, I literally have not seen anything like th like these lipsticks before. They are absolutely beautiful. They stay on the lips for a very long time. They do have different formulas. I think I have a few matte ones that in there as well, uh, which again are also very beautiful, but we will come to them uh, in a bit. So yeah, this is the first one called Indian Rose. The next one I want to mention is a small one only that only so that you can see the difference in the, sh um, the size. So the second one again, so this is the size of the small one. So this is uh, the two gram one. Just to give you a reference, this is the big one and it's a small one. Uh, there's a whole gram of difference, but don't, don't forget that the packaging of these are very, very chunky. So even if they look um, quite, even if the sizes between them look quite big, um, the product in them is have has only a gram of dif uh, difference So this color is called Evan 27 and this is what it looks like now that one I've used quite a lot this one I haven't used as much um, So if you can see six have a TF on the right in front of the lipstick uh, Which always stays there unless you use it now. I have <laughs> I have uh, used some of them and they've become plain so like the one that I used before but this one I haven't used as much which is why it still has the TF on top um, again I'm swatching it and I'm trying not to <laughs> not to touch the TF on top of it but I mean come on it it will come off anyway so yeah this is called Evan it's like a very muted down nudie brown um, it's beautiful on the lips um, again they are very easy to wear very lightweight extremely creamy i don't know how tom ford came up with these um the combination like the right balance between long wearing comfortable balmy moisturizing yet pigmented i don't know how he did it but it's absolutely beautiful this color i would say <clears throat> it all almost I feel like saying the word stone when it comes to this color because it's like a grayish brown it's not a completely brown it's not a beige um, it's definitely a gray brown so um, if you like colors like that then you would absolutely love it again you will see this on my lips as well so don't you worry I want to mention is this one so this is called 08 flamingo and this is what it looks like it is an absolutely gorgeous beautiful coral peach um, pinky color I miss the logo there in front the tf logo oh if i could save that forever i would but anyway let me swatch this on for you now this color is a cross between um a pink and a peach as you can see it's a beautiful color again very lightweight but very very pigmented on camera it looks it looks very pinky but in real life it's more like a combination of a pink and a peach it's such a beautiful summer color you can literally just put put this on without any lip liner and blend it into your lips so it will look like a your lips but better and then if you really layer it on um, then you would absolutely get this color on your lips. It's so beautiful and looks absolutely stunning on so many different skin tones. Um, I've seen this, um, I've seen people wear it a lot. It's again, one of their, I think the top five or top 10 colors um, that people buy. So this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm again going to next go in with, uh, with a smaller color, smaller lipstick again. Um, and this one is called 29 Ben. So now this one is a slightly darker brown. So the one that we saw, saw before was um, Evan, which was like a stony gray, grayish brown. Um, this one is a straight up dark brown, beautifully chocolatey brown, as you can see. 
Again, the formulas of these are so, so lovely. Um, I think this colour, in my opinion, would be really nice. It could be like a nude colour for someone with darker skin. And then if you're, if you're lighter skin or skin like mine, then this would be like a really nice statement lip, especially in autumn and winter. So it does ha it is brown, but there's something in it that makes it different from all the other browns that I have. And something in that brown that makes it look that... Um, like different and beautiful uh, it's so so nice yeah so um absolutely a statement lip if you are of light um, skin color and it's yeah just beautiful right so the next one is called is it a big one and it's called zero three pink teas now again this one is a lovely everyday color it's very uh, similar to the first one or the one that i'm wearing on my lips um, this is like a, a very light fleshy pink color um, again very um, lightweight um, and like an everyday color only because it feels like your lips but better but I think this might be too light for someone to have like a your lips but better look unless you've got very pale lips then this might give you slightly more color and match your skin tone um, again for this one I think it, it's like a nudie pink color like an everyday one that you can absolutely wear to work you can wear with like a nice smoky eye um, this also reminds me of the color that I really like in my Revlon uh, collection which is called pink in the afternoon it's very very similar to this obviously the I mean there's no comparison in terms of finish the Revlon finish is absolutely beautiful um, but I mean Tom Ford come on now there's no comparison is there but I happily wear both of them the Revlon ones are very creamy they are very very um, long-lasting but I think they are slightly more heavier this is very lightweight like these lipsticks when you put these on that you will know how lightweight they are they are absolutely amazing the next one uh, another small one coming your way this is called 05 Jared is it Jared Jared I'm not sure so this is like a really dark pink again like a really nice statement look it looks like red on camera but it's actually a very nice um, I would say a cross between a maroon and a pink I want to say um, it's like hot pink it's a metered down hot pink if I can say um, in real life it looks yeah it's definitely a hot pink but hot pink but muted down so I can't I think I would be um, a mixture of red hot pink and maroon so again a very unique color and that's one thing that Tom Ford really has down the the colors that you have you can't really match them up it's not easy to get um, a dupe of their colors because the colors they have they're not like straight up red or straight up pink or straight up brown they're a combination of so many they have so many different undertones that it's different difficult to know um, so yeah this one is absolutely beautiful i love all of them i really do so yeah that is jared so the next one is one that i have loved very much so please don't get <laughs> please don't don't judge me on the state of this this one is called forbidden pink it's one of my first ones that i ever bought um and i love it to pieces which is why i wear it a lot but unfortunately throughout the years um it broke inside the, the bullet broke inside and i had tried to fix it but obviously couldn't so it's not in a very good state however i still have a lot of lipstick left um so i just use it <laughs> very very carefully um yeah and this is called forbidden pink um, please excuse the extreme grubbiness on the bullet but this one is also one of their top sellers and um, this is one that usually is always out of stock so this for the forbidden pink and the Indian rose that I have on um, are the two that are mostly out of stock um, because they're very like everyday colors and um, it matches so many different skin tones so this is what it looks like now you will say this looks very similar to the one that we've seen before however i will stop you right there it's <laughs> it's not the same so forbidden pink and um and pink teas yeah so forbidden pink and pink teas the difference between the two are um pink teas has 
a very neutral base so it has I would say like a um, like a beige base to it uh, but pink tees has a pink base to it so when you put these on your lips you will see exactly what I mean this one I have used very very much and I love it to bits this one has a much more pinky tone as to um, a beige tone right only two more left so again with the small one we have uh, this is called 52 Alex. This is the one that I haven't really used as much and I don't know why, which is why it looks so brand new. I think it's because, it's mainly because it. I have so many similar lipsticks like this, um, but because their formula is so beautiful, it's difficult to say no. Um, this one is, I would say, a, a muted down version of the dark pink one that I think is Jared, was it? Um, the one that I have. So on camera, it looks like a very purpley pink, but in real life, it's more of like a, a, bar, a muted down Barbie pink, if that makes any sense. So Barbie pink would be like candy flossy pink, but if you mute it down slightly, dilute it slightly, this is what it looks like. Again, they look absolutely beautiful on the lips. There's no there's no question of their longevity or their formula. It's more of the kind of colours that you like. The wonderful sheen that they all that all of them have, very comfortable to wear. This one has um a very strong pigment like I've I've literally cleaned this off my hand and you can still see it. Uh, that's how pigmented they are. Last one, this one is called 66 Paper Doll. And this is what it looks like. So this is, I think, the late, the, the lightest one I have in Tom Ford. Um, so this one is definitely like, um, so I'm sorry, I have to cover this one because it's just, <laughs> it's, um, it's left some pigment on my hand. So this is the one that we are looking at. So this one is definitely like a nude pink. Um, again, it's a pinky nude. It's not a brownie nude, which is why it has some pink undertones. Um, this one I think would be really nice if you have like a smoky eye on or um, if you have like a really dark mahogany eye then this would look really really nice um, only because they have uh, this color has like a very neutral undertone to it so I think even with people who have dark skin um, they would absolutely love this like a really could really neutral pale color you know where sometimes you do those kind of makeup where you want to have like a very pale eye uh, lip liner so that lip so that you can have so the eyes can do all the talking that's definitely one of them and that's it guys that's all of my tom ford lipsticks for you i hope you guys really enjoyed it i absolutely loved showing you all my tom ford lipsticks please do comment down below if you want to see anything in particular any different lipsticks um or just basically anything to be honest if you if there's anything that you would like to have reviewed um then i will be more than happy to to help it i hope you have a lovely day morning evening wherever you are and i'll see you guys later bye